Hey everyone, it's me, Scott Lang with Darren Davis. Yep, we're in the Tulsa International Airport to present the leader of the band, the award. I know what you're thinking. The airport, that's how we roll. Nothing but class. I was going to do it in the bathroom, but Darren said, no, 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 that's just creepy. And I think he might have been right. So I would present the award to him right about here, but the award is what's holding the phone up so we can do the interview. First class. We are class, baby. <laughs> I'm on a layover for like 12 minutes before I run to a plane. We were supposed to do this at Midwest in a really special way, befitting of someone of his. Uh, um, um, we don't really know what he is, but still befitting of him. And uh, we couldn't pass because you were going to the Rose Bowl Parade. So how was the Rose Bowl Parade? Rose Parade was an incredible experience. What an amazing event. That's the second time we've done uh, the Rose Parade, and I thank our kids um, just to see a different part of the country, to see a different um, so aspect of the So if someone's of the thinking about applying, you'd say apply. Oh, go all in. I mean, we've been very heavily involved with traveling for the, for the Bands of America events, and this is uh, such a great event. I mean, it touches so different where, yeah. where it's, all about, it's all about the kids. I, you know, I... I, I got to tell you, it's strictly not selfishly, but we did the Rose Bowl, my band did, and turning that corner on Colorado Boulevard with the bleachers like seven stories high. The sight and the smell. Yeah, it's, there's there's It's a good smell. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the bathrooms, which is where we were going to do the presentation. So uh, it's recruiting time. You were just talking about recruiting. So tell us how you recruit. Uh, well, we're in retention mode and recruiting for our for our next season. Two different things: retention and recruiting. I see recruiting as as the as our new members that we're going to start in band for the very first time. Um, we do a, a program for all of our fifth grade fifth graders, sixth graders to be. Um, we call it the dog and pony show. We make it where it's so exciting. Where how could you not do band? Um, we're actually partnered in with our with our orchestra and our choir program. That's and, good, partnering and, with the other guys in your in your department. And so, you know, the point is get kids to be involved in the arts first off. But um, you know, we try to slick it up in a way where um, there's great information about about the instruments at their level, at the fifth grade level, where it's it's um, it's you know it's it's an expectation of we've got to do we've got to do the band. Okay, so it's uh, first part of April, last part of March. Today is the last of March, I think. Anyway, you're in the middle of concert season. Lots of band directors out there, lots of tired, lots of frenetic. My band's playing out of tune, wrong notes. Is life perfect in your land? Oh, no, not even close. So, um, still some wrong notes and rhythms to fix, huh? Um, I don't know if we're at wrong notes and rhythms, but we're at refinement and, and musicality. And when is contest for you? We're two weeks from today. Oh, so you're pretty close. Okay. So what are you playing? Real quick, give them, give them the bullet points. Um, um, Giannini Symphony Number no. 3 finale. Um, we're doing an old school program with Salvation is Created and um, uh, the Symphonic Movement by Nellie Bell. That's great. It's so um, it, it's nice to hear the old classics being talked it. about. And I'm a big fan of John Mackey, and I'm a big fan of Maslanka, but there's some, it's cool to see the old stuff. Well, going on. yeah, and my, my colleagues in, in the state, when they see us show up and play that program, they'll probably be surprised because I am one of the, you know, I, I do a lot of contemporary literature uh, at festival and kind of do a, a mixture of program, but just the way what fit my kids and what they were very much into. This fit was, your kids. This was the right, the right program for them. That's really cool. Okay, so switching gears. Um, you did a webisode for me on the cruise uh, last year about show design that I didn't air because um, it was, by the time the people saw it, it would have been August and it wouldn't have applied. But tell me where you are in the process of design for next year. Um, program sketch is well completed, was done several months ago, which is kind of our, um, our, our thesis for... Uh, what we want to see visually, what we want to hear musically, what the big effects are going to be, what the concept is uh, for the show, and um, um, it keeps us kind of centered and grounded as we keep finding music that fits that idea, um, you know, that, that kept us centered. We're, we're well past that now. We do have the music that we're, that we're using, um, and we're into production with our music designer and percussion designer, and uh, starting to craft the big, the big moment ideas. Cool. So, um... Just real quick, tell us about you. You're married. I'm married. Tell us about your wife real quick. My wife, Karen, is a family consumer science teacher at a he local high school. married a teacher. You. Uh, she has very little musical background, which works out really, really well. She says she plays the radio as her instrument, but she's probably the best critique uh, critic when we go to a, to a concert. And your biggest fan. And the biggest fan, So, sure. okay, what do you do when you're not doing band? Uh... We don't have children, but we do have have a couple of kitties that that keep us. Uh, you have us cats. Oh yeah, you're a kid. Oh, 
okay. We're just going to let that one slide. Do you fish? Do you hunt? What do you I, do? I play golf. Uh, not very much. I was going to say, Not too. very well. <laughs> but I do love to play golf. Uh, if you, okay, back to music real quick. Because that's just kind of fun. Uh, two tips to a young teacher. Go. Um, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> um, so find the experienced people in the profession because they will gladly help you out. Okay. Uh, a tip for cleaning drill. Um, less information, make it the information you give to the students very succinct, uh, rather than very verbose and quick repetitions back over and over again. Uh, f a favorite thing to do uh, to talk to your band about sound. What's the most common reference or tool you use to um, get a good sound? Resonance and tonal quality. Resonance and tonal quality. Uh, favorite composer? Um, for me, Granger. Okay, now listen, because this is important, so make sure you hear this. Favorite leadership speaker? Um, we'll go with the Lang guy. No, you're supposed to say Dr. Tim. <laughs> hey, everyone, thanks for joining us. The award is what's holding the phone up, so we're going to reach this around. Darren Davis, I would like to, we are, we are class. I would like to present you with Voted On By Your Peers, leader of the band, and although not the most prestigious presentation, certainly a prestigious honor from your colleagues to you. Uh, my hat's off to you. And uh, he's a good guy, one of, the, one of my true brothers in the profession. And uh, I'm honored to know you, and I'm honored to be your friend. Hey, thanks, Scott. All right, we're going to do this in the bathroom next time, okay? <laughs> a little creepy. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.